Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Abhinav Shaktivel. In this video, we are going to see about what are the different advantages of using GitHub Actions. Predominantly, I am trying to cover something with Jenkins because we have been using Jenkins for a very long time as a as a CI/CD tool, and we all know how complicated it is to use Jenkins. I am not blaming Jenkins, but just that uh, GitHub Actions is is fast, far good in terms of setting this up and stuff like that, right? So some of the good advantages of using GitHub Actions uh, is you don't need to do any installation. For example, if you want to configure um, your, your CA uh, with Jenkins, you have to have a machine first. Two, you need to install the software. You need to install Jenkins. Or if you have an enterprise version, you still have to set up your Java path and all that stuff, right? Uh, Maven path and all that. So if you want to configure Git, you need to download the plugins. You need to manage the plugins because whenever there is a plugin upgrade, you also have to manage them. It's a pretty complicated task, right? But in, in case of GitHub Actions, there is no such thing. Everything is in cloud. It is ready to use. You are 100% you are, you are guarantee uh, that you, know, you are using the latest versions, right? And now uh, you can also execute jobs in parallel with almost no efforts in case of GitHub Actions. But but in case of Jenkins, you know how complicated it is. First, you need different machines, or you need to write a pipeline, or you need to write a Jenkins file. At least some amount of efforts involved in that. But here, there is no such efforts. Like you can execute jobs in parallel, with almost nil effects. Like it's like adding just another job section in the YAML file. It's as simple as that, right? And also, uh. In case of Jenkins, we, we have to worry about a lot of things, how we are going to achieve this. But in case of GitHub Actions, it basically uh, has everything pre-built for you as actions, and it is pushed to GitHub Marketplace. For example, like how we have normally a lot of apps which can ease our, our, uh, the way that we work, right? We download it from Play Store or App Store. Same way, uh, for all the actions, uh, reusable stuffs, uh, people have already contributed it and then they've pushed it to the GitHub Actions Marketplace, right? You can fetch the, from there and then directly use it. It's like a plug and play. Pretty often, uh, you know, uh, you, you will end up using one of these actions that are already there. Rarely, you will get a chance to create or use your own uh, logic to create something. But in most of the cases, everything is almost pre-built for you. Last one, in all the organization setup, uh, or at least most of the organization setup, uh, the access rights for Jenkins is, is not with the test automation engineers. And then it's it's a very long process where we have to go and bug the people from the uh, Jenkins uh, management or, or who manage this Jenkins guys, right? So we need to bug them uh, to get a job set up there and all that. A lot of access and privilege related issues will happen. But in case of GitHub Actions, since we maintain our test automation code in GitHub, it 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 you know we don't have to really worry about the access rights and all the stuff. But just for the third one, to demonstrate how many actions that we already have, right? I I will uh take you to a page. Um, uh, if you if you go to GitHub slash actions, and then uh you will see a lot of repositories here. Below the repositories, you could see uh, different actions set up here. For example, let's say I want to set up Java. You know, in a, in a, let's say there is a brand new machine. How would you set up Java? You will download the Java uh, based on the different operating system, and then you will set up the path to the J Java home. You know, and then uh, we will set up all these things ourselves, right? But let's say this particular one will take care of all that, right? For example, let's click on this. And this is an action that is already created. Whatever you see under github.com slash actions, they are all official, which means they are they are very reliable uh, actions created by GitHub itself, right? And uh, if you notice, this is an action that can help you to set up uh, Java in the GitHub action runners, right? Uh, there are different versions available. Let's say a simple usage is basically you can use something like this. You download the project. Once you download the project, you can set up the Java version, right? Again, this step is not even necessary here. You can set up the Java. You can you you are telling, hey, I'm using this actions slash setup hyphen Java. So this is this is the action name, right? And this is where it is coming from. It is coming from the official repository. So that's why we have 
actions at the beginning, right? And I'm going to use that, right? That's what we are saying. And let's say there are a lot of Java versions available, right? We have Oracle JDK, Adapt JDK, Timurin, Eclipse, Zulu, uh, Open JDK. There are diff different distributions and different versions available. You can just choose them. Hey, I want a Timurin distribution and a version of 70. That's it. Once you write these four lines of code, uh, you have your Java set up in the GitHub runner. It's as simple as that. Uh, it, it is not as simple, you know, when we when you do it manually, right? We need to download it, we need to search where it is, and then for different operating system, it is different ways. It's pretty complex, but this will take care of everything. Same way, you can go and find more details, let's say, what are the different versions available, um, what are the different distributions available that you can use, different, different uh, way that you can use these actions. There will be more detail about the actions here. But apart from that, the official uh, GitHub actions, there are also a place called as marketplace. If you go to github.com slash marketplace, you see a lot of uh, these actions here. For example, uh, I want to do something with um, Selenium. So let me see if I can uh, get something related to Selenium. If you notice, we, we have four uh, actions here. Uh, for example, this starts the Selenium server. That is the ARF cube selenite uh, within the action. And there is also start selenite server. There are multiple people who have contributed for this. And there is selenium, which is now deprecated, but still part of here. Uh, you can use all that. For example, I want to con uh, configure selenoid inside the GitHub runner. I just need to simply use uh, this particular step. So I tell the name, what is the name of the step? I'm going to start selenite. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use. Uh, so talk move four and then the action name. You notice this is not actions because it's not official repository, but somebody else have contributed to this, right? And that's it. Once you do this, it automatically starts the selenite for you. Let's say if you want to pass some arguments, they also have given, hey, I want to start the, uh, you know, use this action with the below arguments. You can, you can pass all these arguments and what are the different available arguments? You can find it here. Right, so all the details are already being given to you, and that's what I exactly used in my uh, uh, test as well. Uh, if you go to the web test, you notice in the last video I have run a web test in GitHub Runner. I'm I'm making use of one of the uh, GitHub action that is already available, and I'm passing the version something like this. In my case, I'm not using this Rotak book. Instead, I was using uh, I think this one. Yeah, I was, I think I was using this one. So yeah, so this is how it is. So you have actions for almost everything. You don't have to really worry about what you want to do. Let's say I want to do a 45 scan, okay? Uh, so if you notice, there is 45 scan on demand. That is also available. So you can you can filter based on what you want here. Let's say I want a publishing tool. Uh, let me remove the search filter here. So you have a lot of publishing tools that you want. Let's say you want some kind of utilities, you can also filter based on that. So that's a pretty good advantage, right? So no installation, you can run the jobs in parallel with no efforts. And then there are a lot of actions available which you can plug and play. And at the end, you don't have to uh, beg for rights to, to set up your Jenkins job, in which, which, which is the case in most of the organization. You don't have to worry about all that. So, uh, you know, in the next video, we will cover uh, something really important that is event triggers. Uh, until then, you all have a very good day. Tada, bye bye. Bye bye, guys.